Okay, so in this lesson of the tutorial, we're going to go ahead and finalize the weights on our rig here. And as you can see, it's you know it's still moving fairly well. Um, I would say it's about 90% weight painted. Uh, but there, are, obviously, we need to you know make some adjustments here to to the overall mesh for it to be moving properly. Um, the butt here, of course, has to you know get painted on, and this is because it's just not you know moving and, and stretching properly. Um, but that's okay. It just takes a little bit of time here, um, and it's just you know personal adjustment and just go here and there and, and just continue to to adjust our weight and I'm just selecting bones that of where I really want to paint the mesh and really where I want to adjust the weights here so a lot of this is just you know select a bone and and paint the weights and see how it's going to deform um, there's really no way to explain exactly how I'm doing it. Um, it it's just you know a lot of a lot of adjustment you know what I mean if if it's not you know moving properly here then you have to paint the weights um, if it's not moving properly there then you have to paint the weights so it's just you know a lot of basic trial and error um, to get it to move properly and to to get the mesh to deform correctly I'm just you know continually adjusting the weights and, and painting as needed to really just try and go and get the mesh to deform the way I want it to deform. As you can see, I'm you know continually making extreme poses with the rig, um, trying to be intuitive here of how the animator is, or how the the character would be animating. So I want to go and sort of extend past where I think that that animator would be pushing the rig to, um, basically in terms of like breaking the character. So if I go past where he's really going to be, you know, animating it at and have the weights weights painted properly, then the character animator is actually going to have an easier time of, you know, creating a believable solid animation for the character. This way the weights whenever he's 
animating the character don't sort of just explode and the mesh just go everywhere. It's easier to, to make it extreme so that you allow less breaking of the character rig and the weights on the character. And as you can see I'm you know just simply really just adjusting the mesh here to try and keep the topology as smooth as possible. And so that the texture doesn't stretch. As you can see, I'm actually pinning on both sides of the rig here. Um, I would mirror the weights, but in some cases, I just find it easier to basically just paint the weights on both sides of the of the mesh. It just takes a little bit of extra time, but that's okay, since it's just a, such a small area that I'm actually pinning the weights on. I definitely wouldn't paint weights on both sides of the the entire rig maybe for a full character but for this it's not necessarily going to be that hard because the character is not extreme in terms of resolution um, and it's not that complex of a character so you know pinning the weights on them isn't going to be that hard or, or that difficult and time consuming See, I'm just continually, you know, painting weights, and it is a slow process in some cases, but, and it does take a little bit of time, it's just, you know, you just got to have a little bit of patience to, to go ahead and paint your weights. This is definitely the worst part of the character process, um, because it does take so much time in some cases. Um, it's more tedious than anything else, I would say. And to get it to, you know, work properly is, is the key.
see I'm just adjusting the weights here on the front of the, the right leg trying to keep the <clears throat> the stretching down to a minimal um, I want it to stretch a little bo a little but not extreme As I adjust the rig here, I mean, and move the rig, you can see it's you know, working properly. The head's working pretty good. Uh, the arms here are, you know, working fairly well. Got to double check the hips here, and that's, you know, working pretty good. Uh, the chest is moving properly. The underbelly here needs a little bit of adjustment, but I can do that in a little bit here. I'll just scale that one down so that I don't uh, really have to paint the weights on that one. Because that one might just be causing a double transformation issues so we'll just uh, not say delete it I'll just you know move it inside the rig so that it's not going to be animatable um, the legs here look are, are looking proper and they're moving correctly the legs are looking pretty good has to be a little bit of adjustment here on the leg but I mean that's not too difficult Always add weight and then smooth the weight because it's it's just easier to basically get the mesh to to form properly. Um, instead of the using the uh, the weight smooth tool, it's just easier to paint it by hand rather than use that tool because this way you can control it a lot more in terms of <coughs> how you want it to to move and react.
continually paint on the leg here and move it and adjust it and the leg looks like it's moving properly there has that little pop in the knee and that's basically what I was going for and it looked like it mirrored properly so we're good